Recently, Wargaming Recon had the opportunity to visit Havoc Game Convention, a convention sponsored by Battle Group Boston. It is held every year at Maranus Park in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, and it's one of the longest-running conventions in New England, having been in operation continuously for 35 years and still going strong. The convention is well attended by area gamers and a few well-known gaming clubs from outside of the area. Havoc offers something for everyone, and you'll find a large number of younger players at the Havoc game tables, as well as the usual selection of veteran gray-bearded wargamers. Mike Payne brings his custom-built hang-eye table to Havoc every year. It's a game of his own design that is set in a pulp fiction 1920s, 1930s Chinese setting. And it's a very popular game with the younger crowd. It's a free-form game. It's very appealing to that crowd, but not so much with the rules lawyers types among us. Mike's game is very popular, though, and it's always a pleasure to see him. So, it's another company ship, so you're obligated to respond to the distress signal. So this is like a, oh, so it's not a drifting, abandoned thing, it's something that actually is having some kind of crisis that's happening. John and I actually got to play in a game this year, the Raid on Deerfield, which simulates a Raid on Deerfield, Massachusetts in 1704 during Queen Anne's War using the rules 1676, available from the War Game Vault for the princely sum of 99 cents. John got to play the French, and he lost. The game design community was well represented by veteran designer Mark McLaughlin here, and also by Trevor Atridge, creator of Breachstorm, who demoed his game for John. This guy. Okay. Now you've dodged behind cover. So I do it. Yeah, so as long as you're you're base to base with the train and any line between our bases goes over it, you're in cover. But it's pretty black and white. It's kind of abstract, but um, the idea is that you know there's no questions about so good. He's gonna shoot you. What cover does is before I pick the three dice I'm gonna use for my result, I remove the highest die from the roll. Ooh, so that's harsh. Yeah. So in that case I had a pretty good roll there. I dropped that out. I picked three of the remaining. I only have three, so okay. I have an, uh, a ten there, mm -hmm. minus seven, your advantage leaves me with a three. That's gonna hit you for two damage on my chart. Awesome. Five. John went on to win his game of Breach Storm, which in no way compensated for his loss in the Deerfield game. Be sure to check out our interview with Trevor on the YouTube channel. And also at WargamingRecon.com, number 227, you can catch our interview with Mark McLaughlin. Did you have to give another order for him to move? No. 